Today we're going to look at Artboard Studio. Now this is a fantastic tool. It is a mock-up creator and it is a Photoshop replacement. In my opinion, if you're not good at Photoshop and you need to make mock-ups. So let's actually jump in. I'm going to show you real quick, create mock-ups online. What I love about it is this drag and drop interface. Now I'm going to not read the sales page and take you through all their different templates and stuff. Instead, I'm going to take you in behind the scenes and start designing with my new account. So this is a lifetime deal that I just picked up for Black Friday. We're going to design a blank template and we're just going to scroll through. This one actually looks really nice, but let me scroll down and let's see what we can come up with. Now, I don't want to get too into it here because this is one of those tools in which case, you know, you can spend as little or as much time as you want. And uh, all in all, you're going to get a very high quality product. Now, I've made a video in the past on Media Modifier, which does a very similar thing, but this does it better. This gives you more control and this gives you more uh, what I would like to say professional design, uh, I guess just creative control. I guess that's just the word for it. So if you scroll down here, what you see is a lot of different products and stuff, but you'll also, if I pause on an animated uh, template, you'll see that they do have some pre-made animated templates. Now these are new and uh, some of them are okay. Some of them are, you know, they need to be improved. I would say all in all, their actual mock-up scenes are superb. And their templates I've seen better with more, you know, video focused template style apps. So that can kind of be expected with these tools. Uh, and if I'm being critical, then that would be the first place that I would probably start. But their template programs in beta and stuff like this, I could see already using this drag and drop for a local coffee shop uh, and sending that away. And then of course that's a, an Instagram post or a Facebook post or even an ad. Uh, and this is, you know, done in just a mere few clicks. Let me stop talking. I've shown you a fair amount. They've actually got thousands of templates available. I'm going to come back up here and we're going to do this Christmas one since I'm recording this the day before Thanksgiving. And I'm one of these people that I like, I think Christmas season starts the day after Thanksgiving. So without further ado, let's actually design one of these and it's really really simple all you do is highlight where you want let me actually move me down here or let me just take me off screen how about that and uh what you want to do to design one of these what we'll see first is we have layers up here we have a warm layer contrast a gift package so maybe we don't like the gift package we can move that around and then you can just control z and it'll put it back so all in all, uh, every single item in this image can be moved. This is one of those, you know, it's kind of as creative as you want it to be. And then if you want to change, like let's say we want to change this candle 10 container mock-up, we can do that by coming in here and calling it the Power Profits Scent. And if you wanted to, let's actually not, adjust that quite yet. If you wanted to, you can remove the background here. Uh, so you get 35 photos per month, in which case you can remove the background. Downloaded images will be stored in your private assets menu. So this is, I got the lifetime Black Friday deal. I don't know what the differences are between that on the monthly $15 payment but the lifetime deal is a $99 deal and I think it's well worth it. But what I was trying to show you is this image layer. There is an image layer here. So up here we have the layers within the image and this is an image. So you would have to, if you wanted to change that, upload your own image. So otherwise we can change the text. We can add in our logo. Let's get rid of their logo and come over here to branding components and drag in the AI profits logo. Let's reduce it on down somewhere like that. And then let's say just like that. And then we can jump back out to our main canvas and there is our new mock-up. It's the Power Profit scent. It smells like money. Now, from what I can tell there, I want this to be a little bit bigger. So let's actually 
condense it down, and then let's bring this up just a touch, somewhere like that. Make our logo just a slight bit bigger. I like the fact that it's got the grid snap where you can make sure things are aligned correctly. Somewhere in that respect. And then we go back out to the main canvas. I'm already starting to like that a lot better. Then if we want to come in and we want to do a very similar thing here, and you, like I said, you can play with this all day. And there we go. I don't like the size of that. Let's actually bring this down a slight bit more in that respect. And what you'll see is that it's actually stretching this across the circular uh, canvas or the candle. Uh, and we can customize, as I said, everything within this. So then AI profits the candle company. Who would have thought we would be a candle company just one month in? And just like that, we have our mock-up. Now let's say we wanted to get a little bit creative with this. We could actually do so by coming down here to the timeline and adding some animations. So under the animations, maybe we want to add a start point here. Maybe we want to bring this gift off and then about, let's say, half a second in, we bring it in to the frame, just like that. And then maybe we want to add a start point. Uh, let's go back out. Let's add a start point here. And then we want to start it down here. And then maybe about right here, we want to, hold on, I've got to use my little hand tool. We want to bring this one into the frame, something like that. And now let's use the hand tool again. We can move, you can see how easy it is to move the canvas around. It's gonna take a little bit of time and I'm sorry if my screen is cutting off here. We'll go over these here in a little bit. It's gonna take a little bit of time to figure everything out, but then let's come back and then let's actually, actually no, I'm not gonna spend too much time on these animations. I'm gonna show you though. Just like that, we can have all of our animations come in at once and then we can download that as either an MP4 or a GIF. But I think, you know, you got to play around with the timing and the speed of these things. But if you want to come down here and you want to actually get more granular or whatever the word is, uh, they've got a bunch of ease in type, you know, animations, which will make it a little bit smoother, not as linear. And then like that when they're whipped in. So they've got different animations uh, that you can play with style wise. I haven't had enough time to actually dig into any of those. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove these animations right now. Now let's come up here and I'll show you how to add an item. Let's say that this Christmas scene is missing something. Maybe it's missing, you know, some stationery. Maybe we want to throw some scissors into the picture. We can do that by clicking the scissors and we need to take the hand off. And then we can simply put this here. Maybe we want to do it just like that. And then we want to drag it underneath the gift package. So now we can add the scissors up in the frame just a slight bit. If you want to rotate them, you can rotate them just like that. And you see just how easy it is to add elements. Uh, they have a ton of elements here. Now that's the stationary, but they have packaging, electronics, print, apparel, hard shadow items, which is a really nice tool because it already shows kind of the shadows. So like, let's say that we wanted to come in here and do something like this with an actual shadow. So this one has the shadow in there, right there behind the clip. And we can simply throw that just like that, circle it around just like that. And once more, we're gonna need to drag this thing underneath the pine cone and we've added, you know, a hard shadow item. So there are just a ton of different categories, including stock mockups, in which case it's got people in them and things like that. Now place it, which is by Envato Elements, is still the best option if you need a bunch of people in your mockups. This here though is probably the best option if you want a full canvas to create mockups with without using Photoshop. 
At least this is the best option that I have found and it is well worth a $99 one-time payment in my opinion. So these are the stock mock-ups. I don't know if that's all. Uh, if it is, then they're a little bit limited in the stock, but then we do, I mean, they're not limited in the total number overall. I mean, they've got a ton of different mock-ups here. So all in all, it is how creative you can be with a tool like this. Now, if we want to come in here to the cooking, maybe we want to throw a fish into our Christmas celebration and we want to come up here. We need to go behind the candles. Something like that. We can have a fish just sitting there. We got our candles sitting on top of a fish now. So those are the items. Now we can add textured backgrounds. Let's say maybe we want to do a different color, like a marble. We can do that. In which case we can just drag this on. Dragged two by accident there. And then I can go and I can size this thing up however I want, then I'm just going to simply drag this all the way down above the image layer. Now we've got the marble background. So again, it's the exact same thing. It's called a concrete background. So now we've got a concrete background, which I don't like. So we'll go with the marble background and uh, I think that looks pretty good. So we've gone over the items, we've gone over the backgrounds. Now we've got the marketplace. Now the marketplace is going to have a lot of pre-done templates. Uh, if you're a designer and interested in having your works featured, you can contact them. I wonder what that uh, involves. I'll have to look into that perhaps in the future and find out. Uh, you can also add stock photos. Now this here currently does unsplash, so you can bring those in. I believe on their paid plans, you might get a little bit more access to some of the stock photo libraries. I think they might even use Shutterstock. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, but let's say we wanted to bring in a stock photo. We could do that. And once more, we could come over there and we could remove the background. And then we would have a stock photo without a background. So it is very simple to, you know, add different design elements. So if we wanted to uh, add a quote, we could do that. And then if we wanted to change the text on there, we could just simply double click and we can change the text so we could say ai profits designed this it's is it's easy to add text it's easy to add images you want to add shapes it's easy you guessed it i've noticed that they use shapes to give illusions and things like that maybe we want to call to action our youtube channel and say make sure you subscribe we can easily add that in there this image is getting very busy, very quick, but it's my image, it's my canvas, and my brain is very, very busy. Uh, so we can also insert filters. If we want to give uh, our image a specific effect, uh, we can do this by simply adding. Now I'm adding all these filters here, so that's clearly not going to look good. Uh, but if you want to change up your filters, you know, you can do this. This already has a couple of filters on it, so I'm not going to go through that. And then we can add our private assets here. So this is something that we can keep our assets in here. And uh, then we should be able to, you know, drag and drop our assets, kind of like I've done with the logo. Now I saw on the Black Friday deal that the brand assets and team members and stuff, and, and also those premium stock images are not included. Those are only on their $15 per month plan. Uh, however, I do not feel limited at all by picking up this deal. And uh, I was able to add this branding component. So I don't know what the catch is there, um, but it's working for me, at least for storing my logo, which is a very convenient thing. So then within here, we have our template assets that they're using within this template. So like, let's say I accidentally delete this and then I'm like, oh man, what was that? I can come here, I can click uh, the gift, I can bring it back. And just like that, I have my gift again. So all in all, this tool is truly fantastic. And uh, I highly encourage that you check it out. This has just been a quick overview. And then over here in this area, we have our layers. We can also add different versions. So these versions are helpful if you wanna create a couple of different versions for your clients to vote on, or maybe you, you know, send your first one off and the client says, this is way too busy. I don't like that. 
Then you can come back in, have version two, where you remove the fish, get rid of the YouTube icon, and all of that. So we've gone over the layers. We can uh, center our, object, our objects, uh, put them in different places, position them more accurately with the XY positioning, come down here to advanced settings, control the main image with a bunch of different features. Uh, and then we also have our quick export. So we can export this project as a PNG or as a JPEG, or we can import, or we can send it here to either MailChimp, Dropbox, or Google Drive. So I've already configured my Google Drive, so I can just come here and I can click Save, and then that's gonna save in my Google Drive folder. So it's really, really nice. The animation feature, which is a beta feature right now, to me takes this thing over the top, because you can take an image, take a mock-up, and add a little life to it, then put that thing on Facebook uh, and truly step up your game. So this has been my Artboard Studio. They have a $99 sale going on for Black Friday. I believe it's got four days left, give or take. So act fast. I don't know how common their lifetime deals are, but I know that this tool at least has been around for several years. I'm just discovering it, but it's gonna help me replace Photoshop. It's gonna be one of those components in my quest to get rid of the subscriptions, uh, Photoshop, Adobe CC, uh, Lightroom, and all of those things. So this obviously doesn't replace Lightroom, but we're on the hunt for tools that are one-time payments. And yes, I know of Affinity Photo, and that might be one of them. Like this video if it brought you any value. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see more. My name is Scott with AIProfits.com and we will see you in the next one. Take care.